Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. VMware has three basic type of network connections. NAT, which stands for Network Address Translation, Host Only, and Bridge. I'll be demonstrating using my Ubuntu virtual machine here. I'm running Ubuntu 20.04 and the current IP address on this Ubuntu virtual machine is 192.168.138.151. By default, all VMware comes with a NAT setup. So you can determine your NAT, your network connection type using player, removable device, and select whichever is your active adapter and go settings. In here, you can select your network adapter and this is the NAT. That's what it's set up for. So you might be wondering where do you get that IP address from 192.168.138.151. In order to demonstrate that, I'm gonna open my command prompt here. I'm gonna make it slightly bigger so you can see it. And in my command prompt, I'll be typing IP config. So NAT leverages the host computer's MNAT8 adapter. So you can see it has the gateway address of dot one. When the packets get sent from this Ubuntu virtual machine, say to the outside world, it first goes to the host computer and the host computer translates those address and sends it to the outside world. So essentially, you can actually ping a Google DNS server. So if I go ping, you see the Google DNS server is responding back to your Ubuntu VMware. And at the same time, you can open up web pages using wgetgoogle.ca. And you can you can send a HTTP request out and you get a HTTP response of 200, which is a good response from the Google HTTP server. So that is NAT. So it allows packets to go outside to the outside world but not able to receive it. So the next network connection type I'll be demonstrating would be host only. Go to your player, removable device, select your active network adapter and go settings. And I'm going over here, I'm gonna to change to host only and click OK. Give it a few seconds here. And after that, go IP ADDR. In a few moments here, you will get a new IP address. Okay, the IP address is 192.168.183.128. Again, you might be wondering where does this virtual machine got this IP address, right? So for the host only, the VM uses VMNet1 adapter. That's why the first three octet on the IP address matches the host computer's IP address. Again, this host to host is only meant for communication between virtual machine to your host computer or your base computer. It cannot send packets out to the outside world. If you try to ping, your DNS server this time around again, you'll get a message saying network is unreachable. So if you go wget, of course, since it's not connected to the World Wide Web, you will not be able to reach the google.ca network. So this is purely for local traffic. So that is host-only communication. Let's try bridging now. Go removable device, network adapter, settings. And this time around, let's select bridge. On the config adapter, you have an option to select a wide range of different adapters. If you've got multiple Ethernet adapters or jacks, you can select them. I'm going to stick with Realtek here. This is my built-in Ethernet card and click OK here. So now this time around, if you type IP address and hit enter and give it a few moments for it to resolve an IP address. Let me clear this up here and then now I'm getting an IP address of 192.168.50.55. Now you're wondering where you get this IP address from. We have connected ourselves to our Realtek adapter. My Realtek adapter would be this guy here going out this way. It sort of uses this one to bridge out to the outside world, but it behaves as if the virtual machine is connected to my home router. That's why it's getting its own independent IP address of 192.168.50, which is on the same subnet as this guy here, but .55. So with this one, it is able to communicate with the outside world. And of course, you can get Google web page as well. Basically, you are connected to the outside world. So the difference between Bridge and NAT would be that uh, Bridge allows you to send packets and receive packets from the outside world. Say for example, if you got a Raspberry Pi connected to the same network, you are able to exchange packets between the Raspberry Pi and your Ubuntu uh, virtual machine. So that's the difference. So those are the three different types of network. Okay, we established those VM NAT different types, but you can also explicitly specify uh, where is those VMware should be connected. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. Go to player, removable device, 
network adapter and settings here you can actually select based on vmnet itself so there's three different types of vmnet you can actually use here vmnet 0 is uh, is your bridging and vmnet 1 is host only and vmnet 8 is net so if you do this and hit ok this is same as doing this likewise if you do select this and hit ok this is same as doing this and of course vmnet 0 is your auto bridging here same as doing that so that is how you can actually set up your custom settings here